Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim how are you students i hope you are fine well this is going to be a series of lectures of online classes for the students of class 7 now in this lecture i am going to tell you several theorems related to triangles so without further delay let's get started so students here is our first theorem and it is if one side of a triangle is greater than another the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side that is angle opposite to greater side is greater than angle opposite to smaller side here is the proof say for example in that arbitrary triangle abc you see the side ac is greater than side ab what we have done here in the construction part is that we have cut off the smaller side ab from the bigger side ac okay well that makes ab and ad equal and you know when two sides of a triangle are equal then we call it an isosceles triangle so abd is an isosceles triangle hence the angle abd equal angle a d b d okay because they are base angles and base angles of an isosceles triangles are always equal let us now concentrate on the smaller triangle b d c you can see from the picture that the angle a d b is an external angle to the triangle b d c okay so ADB is greater than BCD as an external angle is greater than each of the two opposite internal angles okay but in our previous slide we have seen that ADB and ABD are equal so ADB is replaced by ABD again from the picture we see that b c d and a c b are exactly same so we have replaced b c d by a c b now what we want to do is to replace that a b d by a b c as a b c is greater than a b d as ABD is part of angle ABC. Now look at the previous line. Look very carefully. So ABC is greater than ACB. We have replaced ABD by ACB. You see that animation, that one. Okay, then we are done. So the proof is done as we have AC as the greatest side and the opposite angle of that side is abc as we have shown in the proof that angle abc is greater than any other angle in that triangle and in this case acb okay students let us start our second theorem and it is the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side that means if you have the length of your triangle uh, uh, length of the sides of your triangle and if you add the first two sides then it will be always greater than the length of the third side okay let us see how this thing can be proved okay so for for better clarification we added up two smaller sides that means a ab and ac and we will show what we will show that ab plus ac the sum of the two smaller sides is also greater than the biggest side in this case bc so we need to show ab plus ac is greater than bc now for the construction part da is produced to d as ad equals ac well that makes the triangle adc an isosceles triangle and and in an isosceles triangle you know that those two angle acd and adc are equal as they are base angles and base angles are always equal in an isosceles triangle and it is obvious from the picture that acd is b d c okay because i have replaced a d c by b d c 
it is obvious from the picture in the previous slide you see that that red angle ACD that one and that red angle BDC they are equal right but you see in the picture BCD is greater than ACD okay BCD is greater than ACD as angle ACD is part of angle BCD okay again BCD is greater than BDC because ACD and BDC they are equal we have proved it in the previous slide now look at the whole triangle at a time the triangle BCD well in the triangle the angle BCD is greater than the angle BDC now we know from the, our previous theorem then the side opposite to the greater angle is always greater than the side opposite to the small angle in this case our greater angle is BCD in the whole triangle and the opposite side of that angle is BD so BD must be greater than BC because BC is the opposite side of angle BDC you see in the picture side opposite to greater angle is greater that is why BD is greater than BC but wait BD can be represented as BA plus AD just look at the picture and AD is replaced by AC as our construction suggests now our proof is done AB plus AC is greater than BC we have substituted the value in that uh, inequality just see the animation that line okay BD is greater than BC we have substituted the value of BD AB plus AC in that animation okay now the proof is done students I suggest you to pause that video and study what we have been uh, through so far now you know theorem reading is very boring so you should pause that video and study up to now what you are uh, what I have taught you okay now when you are done then let us start again well in this slide I have a problem for you and the problem is the length of two sides of a triangle are five centimeters and four centimeters respectively which of the following is the possible measurement of the other side well is it one centimeter is it four centimeters is it nine centimeters or is it ten centimeters students this slide seems very easy to you but I think it is not that easy okay let us see this students you know if you add up two sides it will be bigger than the third side for a triangle that means if a b c are three sides if you add up two sides I mean a plus b it must be greater than c and what we have in our question the side lengths are 5 centimeter and 4 centimeter let us add them so 5 plus 4 is 9 so sum of two sides must be greater than the third side so 10 centimeter cannot be our third side because the sum of the two sides is 9 so 10 centimeter is ruled out and let us go for 9 centimeter well 9 centimeter cannot be because 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 is equal to 9 9 is not greater than 9 okay there uh, now it remains 1 centimeter and 4 centimeter you can see 5 plus 4 9 is greater than 1 and it is also greater than 4 then which one should you take 1 centimeter or 4 centimeter well this statement a plus b greater than c is uh, not sufficient in this case what we need is another statement is a minus b is less than c that means in a triangle if we, the difference of two sides is always less than the third side okay that means 5 minus 4 is 1 but 1 is not less than 1 so we cannot take 1 but 5 minus 4 1 is less than 4 so in this case 4 is the only correct answer you see that this question is very tricky you need two statements to answer this question a plus b is greater than c and a minus b is less than c <laughs> okay let us now again start with another theorem and in that theorem you have a triangle ABC and D is the midpoint of side BC we need to prove AB plus AC is greater than 2AD okay let us begin 
for the construction part where I have to connect A with D and I have uh, produced that side AD up to E such that AD and D are equal. Okay. Now, in triangle ABD and CDE, you see AD equal to DE, well this is part of construction and as D is the midpoint of BC, BD equal CD, as D is the midpoint. Now, the included angle ADC and CDE are equal as they are vertically opposite angles, okay. Now, you can uh, call these two triangles congruent ADB and CDE as two sides and included angles are equal. As these two triangles are congruent, we can easily say that AB and CE they are equal. Okay, AB equals CE. Okay. Now look at that right triangle ACE right on your right ACE that triangle you know sum of the two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side that means if you add up AC plus C it must be greater than AE you see AC plus AE is greater than E as sum of two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. Now AC plus uh, C is replaced by AB as uh, we have shown here because those two triangles are congruent so AC plus AB is greater than AE but, but you uh, see in the picture AE can be represented as AD plus DE but DE equal to AD so we can write AE as AD plus AD look AD plus AD that means 2 AD hence our proof. AC plus AB is greater than 2AD. Okay. Try to write down all the theorems in your copy. Okay. Now let us again prove another theorem and this is uh, actually an application of the previous theorems. Uh, you should concentrate on that theorem because uh, it's uh, not that simple. Okay. So in a triangle ABC where a side AB is greater than another side AC and the bisectors of two angles intersect at P. And we need to show that, that PB is greater than PC and I'm going to show you how. Okay. Here is a triangle and we need to show that that red line PB is greater than PC. Okay. You can see that PBC is one half of B because it is the bisector as the question is telling us. So this is uh, PB is the bisector of B and a similar way PCB equal to one half of C and the reason is same PC is the bisector of C. Okay that's nice. Now in the triangle we can say that angle C is angle B greater than angle B. Now. Now think about this line and why angle C is greater than angle B because AB is greater than AC and you know angles uh, opposite to greater sides are greater and the vice versa. That means one half of C is greater than one half of B or PCB that means one half of C and PBC is one half of B. And from this we can easily say that PB is greater than PC and angle opposite to greater side is greater than the angle opposite to the smaller side as our proof suggests we have done this in uh, the proof of this in this lecture right. Now finally we have actually a uh, creative question and uh, I have taken this creative question from your book let us see what this question so in that figure Q PM and RPM they are same and that angle QPR is a right angle and the side length PQ is 6 cm given then what is the question let us see what is the value of QPM and the second question is P Q M and P R M it is to be found and lastly find the value of P R well this question is not going to be that hard okay let us solve this step by step okay for the first one 
QPR is 90 degree, right? That we can split that QPR by QPM and RPM, okay? Because those two tri those two angles constitute QPR. Look, let, let us split this angle, okay? QPM plus RPM is 90 because QPM plus RPM, if you add those up, you will get QPR. Now, but the but the question is QPM and RPM they are same that means we can replace that RPM by QPM as follows. Now QPM plus QPM is 2 QPM and that is why QPM angle QPM is 90 over 2 is 45 degree. You see that simple this question is very simple. So let us go for the second question. What is the angle PQM and PRM? Okay. In that triangle PQR, PM is perpendicular to QR and PMQ and PMR equals to 90 degree as it is a right angle and remember that QPM and RPM equals 45 degree we got this from our question A. Well in triangle uh, PMQ if we add up uh, the three angles we will get 180 degree and you all know it. And PMQ is 90 and QPM is 45 from question A and at what remains is PQM. Okay, let us substitute the values 90 plus 45 plus PQM equal 180 degrees and that is why PQM equals 180 degrees minus 135 degrees and it is 45 degrees. In a similar way PRM is also 45 degrees. Finally, let us see our last question. In that question, PQ equal to 6 cm is given and we need to find PR. But we know PQR and PRQ, they are 45 degree. That is why PQ equals PR as the, uh, as, you can, as you know that uh, the opposite sides of equal angles are always equal. Well, that angle uh, PQR and PRQ both are 54. 45 that is why opposite sides PQ and PR they must be equal but PQ equals to 6 that is why PR is 6 centimeters that's simple okay we have done proving uh, theorems now I'm going to show you a couple of uh, multiple choice questions and then, then I'm going to appoint you a, a homework and then I will finish this lecture okay let us see the multiple choice questions in this, uh, well, I have taken this from your textbook. Well, it's a screenshot, by the way. Well, there is a triangle ABC and a line a C is parallel to that line AB. Okay, and that C is the bisector of that angle ACD. Okay, let us see the question. What is the angle BAC? You see BA and CE, they are parallel and AC is their transversal. That means BAC and ACE, those two angles are equal right as alternate angles but ACE is 60 plus 60 over 2 because CE is the bisector of that angle ACD that is why 60 plus 60 over 2 is ACE you will get a you get ACE equals to 60 degree but our question was not to find ACE but to find BAC but BAC and ACE they are same as they are alternate angles so BAC is also 60 degrees okay very simple which of the following is ACD? Oh, that one is more easier than the previous one. ACE is just 2 times 60, right? It is 120 as ACE is bisected by uh, the line CE. So ACE must be 2 times uh, ECD. That is 2 times 60 is 120. Finally, what type of triangle is ABC? You know that angle B is 60 degrees and ACD is uh, angle A is also 60 degree. What remains is they need to find ACB. So AC, ABC and AECD equals 60 degree. That is why BAC is 60 degree and ACB equals 180 minus uh, 60 plus 60 it is also 60 that means it's a, an equilateral triangle um, as all the angles are 60 degree. Well there is a homework 
for you ABC triangle ABC is greater than ACD and D is any point on BC draw the figure on the basis of information show that AC is greater than AB and finally if ABC equal ACD then prove that AB is greater than AD.